Hey guys, welcome to day 204 of my carnivore journey. And I missed you guys. I know I've been gone for the weekend. Um, so if you watch my last video, day 200, you will know that my son came over for Father's Day weekend. And unfortunately, he got sick, um, like right in the beginning. And he didn't want to go back home. Uh, to his mother's because he wanted to, you know, just sort of rest and heal at, at my house. Um, and he, he felt bad because of my father's day. So unfortunately, I spent my father's day really sort of taking care of my son and, and making sure he was he was good to go on things. So, yeah, so I sorry, I didn't do any videos, but I am back. Over the weekend, um, I had, again, I've had like steak. We did um, steak on the, I think, Saturday. And, and like I said, I didn't know my son was sick at the time um, because Friday night was kind of hectic and I had work. He was over. He was with me. And then like. Saturday we were trying to hang out and I guess he was like hiding the sickness from me. So then, but in any case we had steak on the grill. So it was a great father's day, um, dinner, uh, Sunday, even though he was sick, he was like craving tacos. So I made tacos and I, and I did, um, I bought like the carb balance, um, tortilla shells. Well, I ate those and I got to tell you, I'm pretty sure those really screwed me up. <laughs> so they're not like, they have a pretty good amount of carbs in them still, even though they're the carb balance type ones or whatever, they're supposed to be more keto. And, um, but, and they gave me like a ton of gas, like a ton of gas. So, and today, the next day after the tacos, I feel like I felt most of the day like I was in third gear versus fifth gear. Normally, I would, you know, with carnivore, I feel like I'm running in fifth gear most of the time. Today was like third gear, and I probably had more gas since the uh, eating those tortilla because it wasn't the meat. Like I've had other, a few other times earlier in my carnivore journey where, you know, I've ha I've made like some of those like taco meat type of stuff, you know, in the past, if, if some of you guys might remember that from way back in the day. Uh, and, it, you know, didn't eat, didn't give me gas then. But those tortillas, I guarantee you those carbs and stuff, you know, so it probably threw me out of like ketosis or whatever, who knows. But it definitely threw me out of balance, threw me out of whack. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. So in the, in the end though, today I had steak, I was back to steak. <laughs> so yes, um, I had a little bit of pork rinds for lunch, no hot dogs this time. And I had steak for dinner and still had my coffee. Um, although I'm almost out of coffee and I may not buy more. I may try to go coffee list for a while. Um, I don't know, but, um, but yeah, it felt good to kind of get back to having a steak. I I've got a ton of steaks. In fact, I had just scored like seven steaks, um, sirloin steaks from like, uh, priceless foods. I don't know if some of you might know about priceless foods, but it's like a cheap supermarket kind of place. And I was doing the laundry Sunday. I was at the laundromat and they had a priceless foods nearby. And I was like, well, you know, let's just go in there. But I didn't even see the name of it. I just saw it was like a store. And I was like, hey, let's go see what they got. You know, went in there and they had top sirloin um, and all their top sirloin looked pretty good. And they were close to a pound. Some were a pound. One of them was a pound. And they had it marked at $5 and like 55 cents. I was like, 
man, and normally top sirloin, even for like a, a pound, is usually $7.99 or sometimes $6.99 on sale. So the fact that this was like $5.55, and they had a bunch of them, and I was like, some of them were like $4, like four or something. So I got seven of them. I cleaned out their shelves. And, you know, their other steaks were like kind of normal pricing. So I brought those home. Those are all in the freezer. I've got like four steaks in the fridge right now that I got on some pretty decent deals. Oh, and I will say the steaks that I did make on Father's Day, um, I got those from Kroger's and those were disappointing. I actually got four New York strips for six. They were like six and a half dollars a piece. They were on sale and they looked like good you know, decent looking, normal, you know, New York strips, but they were, they were all, all four of them were like three quarters of a pound or less. So basically I bought four of them for me and my son and we each had two, but I, I ate part of one and part of the other to have maybe one steak total. And my son could only eat maybe one steak and then he couldn't finish the second. Like I said, he was also kind of starting to feel sick and he was, he was like trying And then I short, I found it out shortly after dinner. He was like, yeah, it's like, I've been kind of fighting off like sick and you know, whatever. Anyways. So, um, so I was really disappointed that the, 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 whenever you take a bite of the steak, it just, it was just like, um, I don't know it was like chewy in a way and they were cooked great like they were cooked to temp or you know what i mean like they were cooked on the grill cooked like they came out like a medium um so i i don't know i don't know if it was just a bad cow or something <laughs> i don't i don't know really weird though um but now that five and a half dollar steak today that you guys saw that one was actually pretty good so i'm looking forward to the other steaks that i got from priceless foods um i am starting to do more of the dry brining like sort of like that aging you know uh, i am starting to do that a little more so um i know that was recommended to me and and i kind of didn't say a whole lot about it uh, when i did try it but you know it's starting to grow on me and now i'm starting to Add them dry, get the salt on there, and just leave them in the fridge overnight at least. Um, so I'm starting to do that a lot more. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, six days away, and I'm going to do a live. We'll go live. Um, I always do a live event, you know, at least every 30 days, right, When we after we do the weigh-in for the, for the reveal. Now, I don't know if I'll do it on... When is six days from now, anyways? When is my day? Uh, let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's on a Sunday. So we might be able to go live um, on the 23rd. It looks like the 23rd is going to be my day 210. So we may go live on Sunday, Sunday night. If we go live, usually it's going to be around like 8, 8 or 9, 9 p.m. Eastern. So just to give you guys a general heads up. Um. I know some of you like to show up for the live and uh, we have a lot of fun with the live streams um, between just you guys learning more about me personally. Just, we just kind of all start talking about different things after, you know, we talk about carnivore and stuff, you know, we hang out, you know, so it's really cool, but yeah, I missed you guys and I will continue to try to do daily updates. Uh, but the weekend, like I, I, that's why I told you guys I couldn't promise anything when I talked to you last on Thursday because um, I knew that was my son coming in. And then, like, I was going to – I missed Fridays, but I was going to do Saturdays. Um, but then, again, he ended up sick after dinner, like, revealing after dinner and because he laid down, like, right after dinner. And, he, and I'm, like, thinking, like, did I cook something bad or something? Was it his stomach? But I said, hey – what are you doing? He's like, well, it's like, I don't, it's like, I'm kind of feverish. And, you know, he, he had told me, I guess from like either Friday morning, I think is when he started first feeling it or whatever. And anyways, um, 
but yeah, like with, with just looking out for him, taking care of him, stuff like that. I just didn't end up doing the, the, the vlog. So, but guys, I hope your carnivore journey is going well. As far as, um, ultimately my journey, um, if, if you want to know what it's like to make it 204 days, it's, it's good. And I feel like I've probably stalled a little now, now that I'm around that seven month mark coming up on the seven month mark. I feel like I probably stalled a little bit, but, um, I think that I'm going to be again, tightening up over this next week or two. Um, especially probably, especially after Sunday, like after day 210, I'm going to probably really start trying to tighten up and see what we can accomplish. And I'm going to start doing some actual weightlifting. I know I've been talking about it. So it's a uh, focus that we're, we're going to look at doing. So getting a little more physically involved. So after day 210, we'll, we'll probably start tightening up. So, all right, guys. Well, it was good talking with you again, guys. I hope to hear a lot of comments from you guys. Um, you know, just, just pop something in the chat. It's good. It's always good to, you know, hear from you. It really is. It does still encourage me though. Cause I do pop into the chat. So, all right, guys, uh, love you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.